I have three of these unfinished wood trays that you can get right from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint all three of them, both the inside and the outside, with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Now you could pick any colors of your choice. And these measure about six and a half by five inches. Next, I have these little decorative chicken wire hangers. I believe at one point they may have had a little farm animal on the front, which you can remove and use towards this project, but I no longer had the farm animals on mine. I'm going to paint the outside frame with some smoky quartz, and I just watered mine down a little bit because I still like seeing the wood grain show through. Now, I found these little wood animal cutouts from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of a few different farm animals. And I'm going to use my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain and gel stain the three animals that I picked, which is the chicken, the pig, and the cow. I have this really cute pinstripe napkin that came from Target. I'm going to trace the outside of my wooden tray and then I'm going to cut the napkin out. And I will have to repeat this three times. Now these napkins are three ply, which means I will have to remove two layers from my napkin, the third layer being the design. And you wanna make sure you remove all layers before you decoupage. And I'm going to place that inside the tray, and I want to make sure I get it as close to the size of the inside of the tray as I can. And for me, it's just easier to cut it to the size that may fit, and then you put it in, and then you can just cause a crease in your napkin to trim it up. And then I just trace that on the other napkins to get the same size. I put some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear inside my tray and I laid the napkin on top of that. The saran wrap will just help get out any wrinkling or bubbling in the napkin. And then you want to follow up with a coat of the One Hour Enamel on top of the napkin. Now if you do not have the chicken wire frame, I found these wooden frames from Hobby Lobby and you can just add your own chicken wire to them. There are other options. I'm going to take a little wood cube. I found these from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to glue it on the back of the farm animal, and then I'm going to glue that inside my tray. And again, I repeated the same thing on all three trays, and I'm going to add hot glue to the outside of my wood tray, and then I'm going to place the chicken wire frame on top of it. Now you can fill these with anything of your choice. You do not have to do a farmhouse theme. And then I'm going to glue the three together so that they are stacked on top of each other and I'm just holding everything together with some hot glue. Next I have this burlap ribbon. You can get this from Dollar Tree now. There's three different styles on it. And I'm just going to pick one of the styles and I'm going to glue them across where you see the different trays meet. Now you can certainly skip this step. Really depends on how farmhouse you want this to look. And I just folded the ends of the ribbon onto the back side. And I repeated this for the top of the pig frame as well. Now at this point, I didn't know if I wanted to continue with the burlap ribbon, so I went to this gingham stripe ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree, and I made two small little bows that I'm just going to glue into the center here. Now I thought this looked really cute like this, but I decided to finish it off with more of the burlap ribbon on both the bottom and the top. And there you go. Now we just have this very easy, inexpensive farmhouse decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.